the trauma. I, we immediately think of the trauma. That Lonnie and Sandy Phillips say they immediately thought of the victims' families when they saw the news of Sunday's mass shooting in Sacramento, where six people were killed and a dozen injured. They know that pain. Their 24-year-old daughter, Jessie, a journalist, was killed in a mass shooting in a Colorado movie theater in 2012. She was the light of our life, and uh, we were so proud of the woman that she had become. They're now dedicated to helping victims and survivors of gun violence through their nonprofit, Survivors Empowered. That's what Jessie would want us to be doing. She had a huge heart for others. She had a huge heart for people that were suffering or needed help. They support California's tough gun laws and the package of new ones, including two that would allow private citizens to sue anyone in the gun industry whose products cause them harm. One of them is mirrored after the Texas abortion ban. The couple lost everything after they attempted to sue the retailer that sold thousands of dollars worth of ammunition to the man who killed their daughter. Federal legislation passed in 2005 that shields the gun manufacturing industry specifically from some of these harms. That state assembly member, Chris Ward, who represents San Diego's 78th district, he says people like the Phillips are why he introduced AB 1594, a law that would override federal law. From production, manufacturing, uh, down to the point of sale, who is violating a state or a local nuisance ordinance. Uh, they would be held liable then for uh, the harms caused by their products. He says this latest mass shooting strengthens his resolve to continue the fight. Heartbreaking for the victims. Um, I don't want something to become so numb that we're complacent, that we accept this as a normal. We reached out to several gun rights activists. We did not hear back. But groups like the San Diego Gun Owners Association argue passing more laws in California only punishes legal gun owners, not the criminals who continue to commit violent crimes, despite the more than 100 state laws already in place. And they will continue to challenge the laws they say violate the Second Amendment in court. The Phillips say if California's gun laws were to be implemented nationwide, it would prevent more tragedies like the one that took their daughter's life 10 years ago and the six people this week. You can actually trace it and track it now, so we know that better gun laws work. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.